This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, sent by God to your house to declare to you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, tell us what the gospel is. How that Jesus Christ died by our sins, according to scripture. He was buried. He rose again the third day, according to the scripture. Spirit of the Lord is upon me, as he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the broken heart, preach deliverance to the captives, recover the sight to the blind, Set at liberty them that are bruised. The word is neither even in your heart nor in your mouth. There's a word of faith which I preach. You'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the, from the dead. You shall be saved with the heart man believeth and the righteousness with the mouth confession is made under salvation. Thank God I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. This power of God under salvation. Everybody that believe it, the Jew first, also to the Greek, therein is a righteousness God revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just to live by his faith. Thank God I want to welcome everyone to this broadcast, live stream, Roku, uh, YouTube, and other devices. Paul Peters, my co-host, is aboard with me. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank God. Actually, I'm overcoming something in my heart uh, that I'm well aware of what it is. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. I got him bad. I got him bad. But you're not going to find out. I got him bad. I got him bad. Amen. I did a post last night about nine 10 or 15, I've been praying since about 8. But what's interesting, the prayer followed the one hour broadcast where Kathy D talked about taking the lower seat. And how God had dealt with her. And she talked about it. And then I got up wiped her the songs and talked about thank God that thank God the grace and mercy on my, on the Davidson, starting with my great grandmother, who I never knew, James Madison Davidson, died a horrible death, tetanus. I know there are people that are going to say, God wouldn't do that. Let me tell you what God will do. 12th chapter, the book of Luke. He'll kill you and send you to hell. That's what God can do to you. That's the one you need to fear. I understand your feelings. 
you think you know everything there is to know about God, but you don't know one thing about him. Thank God. I thank God for my great-grandmother. The family knew well what he suffered for seven days. Horrible. Terrible. But his life, his life had him ordered for hell. And God had mercy on him. And I've said this explains the fear of God. And my grandfather, Luther Albert, my dad, my Luther, and the rest of the Davidsons had toward God. And that fear was ministered to me, fear God. In Proverbs, it talks about the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. If you don't fear God, you haven't even begun with wisdom. So don't think you're so sharp. They got in bed. Oh, I'm not going to be nice. No, I'm not. I'm going to speak the words of God. You can call it hateful, wicked, whatever you want to. But you're talking against the Holy Ghost. They got in bed. They got in bed. So last night, following that program, which I recommend everybody watch it, my broadcast last night from 6 to 7. You can buy it. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Then, today, we're going to talk about my prayers following the broadcast. We're going to ask Paul to read verse 70, chapter 2, 1 through 8, I believe. Then we're going to talk. Second Timothy, or 1 Timothy 2. I exhort, therefore, the first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time, whereunto I am ordained a preacher and apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Amen. I say, I agree with every word of that. Amen. And that's the way I walk. But my friends, I want to tell you, to get to walk that way wasn't easy. You see, I was a veterinarian, very successful. I know that offends you, but I can put a, a lie and tell you I barely made it through. I'm not that guy. Had cars, boats, show horses. Couple of racehorses, two farms, cattle, investments, minimal, I mean low indebtedness, low. They got in bad and rebellion against God. In bad because in 1958, he told me, University of Missouri. Columbia campus, August 1, when he visited me, I don't want you to be a veterinarian. I want you to be a minister of the gospel. I couldn't see it. I didn't want it. I didn't do it. Thank God. God was with me. 1969, he arranged a situation where 
I became very willing to do what he told me to do in 1958. Now, <clears throat> during, from 1970 on, 45 years, soon be 46, I've been praying for America. I prayed for man. I gave thanks, intercession, supplication for people. I didn't like. I didn't like them. They had mistreated me. They were corrupt. They lied to me. They lied about me. They wanted to destroy me. And God, all men, give thanks. Intercession. All men. All politicians. All people I've worked for. Family. Everybody. I got to a place where I could pray for anybody. Wasn't easy. I even told God that I would vote for a certain president if he told me so. He never told me. I was a member of the Republican Senatorial Inner Circle. I received letters from them. Manipulation. They wouldn't respond to one thing I said. Not one thing I've asked. When they answer the question, and I prayed for. I had plenty of money to take. Nine people with me. And a ten. A dollar. Ceremonial. Nothing. To honor this person and that person. What it wanted, my money. They even wanted to appoint me to be whatever it was over an area in North Texas. I dropped it all. I became an independent. And I don't even vote. <clears throat> Nor will I. I pray. I believe God. I do what God wants me to. Last night, Pray, grace. Turns out, grace. Like a ride for grace. Grace to this mountain. Grace. This mountain becomes plain. Becomes a plain. Grace. I start praying for all my 
Zion. Every one of them. Grace above all of them. Grace. Grace. More grace. More grace on them. More, more grace. Grace to the humble. More grace. I'm about to say it. Grace. Grace. More grace. About my enemies. People that hate me. Lie about me. Grace, more grace. Then I moved on. Started moving out, praying for water black people, my people, worldwide. Grace. Grace, grace on all of my people. That includes Israel. Grace, grace. Grace, grace. And I pray I don't have the sequence. Spirit, supplication, and grace on all what are black people? All black people. Kept praying. Thank God. And I started praying. I got my enemies. All of them. Every one of them. Grace. And all of them. Thank God for all of them. Thank God. That I prayed for Billy Graham. Franklin Graham. Kenny Copeland. James Robinson, Marcus and Joni Lamb, thank God, grace, more grace, thank God, thank God, Valtari, the friend. Ezekiel Goody, Yador, Africa, friend. Bartholomew, Matt, Jerome, friend. Dick Leggett, a friend. The Jacksons, friend. But not so friendly. Thank God. Thank God. I could see as I was praying, God was talking about the appointed weeks for the harvest. I got steady all in Africa. Praying about angels and governing. All of God's people, all of my people. Thank God. A powerful prayer. In the hour of it. The Lord. Never prayed like this in my life. Amen. Thank God.
Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man abates as much. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I prayed for two cousins and I thought of them. I don't know when. I got it back. I got it back. Oh, I've got to say this. An international gospel preaching woman. Much grace. Much grace. More grace. A daughter. Our God rest upon her. Grace. A singer. A woman. Jerry Brown. I got you. Amen. The quartet. Jerry the Brown. Thank God. I got some of you half a dozen times, I think. Thank God. 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 It's that day I was thinking about Preflo Dollar. Uh, well, Fred Price, I'll get you right now. What's the guy at Dallas? Uh, well, glory to be to God. Who? Is it Jake? T yeah, Jake's. Okay. Yeah. You bet. Matt Robertson. Sorry, Pat. I sure didn't forget you. God did. God is certainly bringing us up. I got it back. I know CBN will certainly be for the appointed weeks of the harvest. I know that. I know all of them will. As you know, it says, my people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Psalm 110. Thank God. You know, my ninth great grandfather wrote a commentary on that song in the 1600s called The Incorruptible Key. Samuel Gorton. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, Joel Osteen. Thank God. All of them. Look, folks. It's God that saves. I was in Mexico, Rio Bravo, 1982, in the little metal building. And about a hundred people standing up. <coughs> Nobody could sit down. And I had an interpreter. I was standing up on a platform. The Lord directed, What do you want from God? And my interpreter asked, I want to be saved. Next. Same question. Same answer. Next. Thank God. Same question. Same answer. A lawyer was with me. He said, Joel, I need to do this or I want to do this or something. Let's go ahead. Ask somebody, what do you want? They said, nothing. What do you want? Nothing. 
I said, I think I better take it back. Took it back to the bar. Wouldn't be saved by a bar. I want you to pray that by certain family members be saved. You know what the Lord said? When I get ready to save them, I'll save them. Never forgot it. After that, came to my attention, Jeremiah 5, verse 24, appointed weeks of the harvest in association with that boy, the former and the latter rain, which took place on the day of Pentecost. Thank God. Well, my friends, we don't have very many years left. You watch after 16 elections. Watch what happens. Watch it. In 13 January, God gave me a revelation. Daniel 11, 20 through 28. It's America today. Thank God. 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 Oh, I know God's people will be willing, His ministers will be willing to participate in the day of God's power. Psalm 110, I don't doubt it. You'll get with me. You'll walk with me. You'll be happy. Oh, you'll even forgive me. You'll even say, well, you're not the way I thought you were. Ha, ha. How much fun I've had. Amen. Thank God. Thank God, amen. Thank God, amen. You see, I love everybody. I love my enemy. I love preachers and hate my message. They hate my spirit. They hate me because I won't submit to them. I love you. I'm not asking you to submit to me. I'm asking you to believe the gospel. Submit to Jesus of Nazareth and don't call him Lord, Lord, and do what you say and what you want to do. Jesus said, why call me Lord, Lord, and not do my sayings? That's what I'm asking you to do. Submit to Jesus and let him be Lord of your life before it's too late and he brings you to his presence and they slay you at his feet. That's what I'm about. I don't want to see one person go to hell. Not one. Not one. But my friend, there's just one way to the Father and one way to heaven, and that's Jesus, the man, Jesus, the man, Jesus. Hey, anything, what time? 11.30. Just one man, Jesus, the man, oh, yes. 
last night I was praying and God reminded me of visions that I had before 85. So it had been 84, maybe three, probably four. And I was praying at a mission. Acres of black people, black people, sitting straight, erect, All of them. I said, Lord, who is this? People you're going to speak to, teach? Okay? 85, New Year's Day, I left here and flew to Zimbabwe. Got there in the meetings, and they sat babies on their back. More than 4,000 of them on Big Sunday. I spoke to them an hour through the interpreter. Black people. Thank God. I said, black people. That's dark skinned people. I don't care what you call yourself. I'm judging what God calls you. He calls me a white person. No, I'm not prejudiced. And then, acres of black people. Then he saw, showed me a large group of People at white, if I recall, white head covers that flowing down their back with a band, I believe, around the head cover of white, and their back all heavy. I said, and who's that, Lord? Oh, that's Muslims and others that have their back to me. Have their back to me. And you're going to turn them by the power of God to Jehovah and to Jesus. I said, really? I told my friend, Mel Tari, about this 2002. Thank God. You know what was funny? There was a Muslim. You see, God loves all, all people, all. But there's just one way you can get to him, and that's through Jesus, his son. So I had this Muslim, and he worked there in Plano. And I knew him. He said, I'd like to, or I wish I knew this Jesus that you say you know is a 
you give me your hand. He stuck his hand out. I said, Lord, reveal Jesus to this man's heart. Yeah. The next day they called me. They said he started getting pains in his belly after you prayed. I said, that's good. God's delivering him from that Muslim devil. About noon, he was free. And a woman walked in one day. She said, is the pastor here? My wife, Pat, who's in heaven, on three, said, nothing. I got up and walked out the door. And when I walked through that door, I said, come out of her, you Muslim devil. Come out now. She started going like this, trying to attack my wife. The devil was mean, wicked. Deceive her. Deceive the whole world. That's Revelation 12. Is that thine? I believe so, yes. Right. Thank God. The devil came out of her. I said, what can I do for you? She said, I heard you gave away $100 bills. I said, and I want to get one. I said, oh, I do. I don't have any right now. She left. Last time I saw her, she sat out here on a street corner pointing some of her friends toward this building. I had to be outside and I saw her. I'm sure she was telling them about something happened to her. Well, my friends, millions of you are going to get your devils cast out. Millions. They're the gospel of Jesus Christ who I serve. One name, Jesus. One thing under heaven. Jesus, you must receive him. Speak his name. You'll, re you'll receive him in your heart. Speak his name. You'll become one spirit with Jesus. Speak him in your heart. You'll be saved. You'll be born again. Take up your cross daily and follow. Jesus, that's what's required of you. Speak after me. Jesus, 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 Thank God. God bless. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972 578-8082 That's 972-578-8082 Or write Doyle Davidson Post Office Box 861327 Plano, Texas 75086 That's Doyle Davidson Post Office Box 861327 Plano, Texas 75086 This program was paid for by Water of Life Church